All right, everybody, so Joshua here with another quick gigs vids. We just got a, uh, a $64 three order, and my wife has a $19, $20 shop only. Um, this morning, we were up at 520, as always, trying to get some roadies, and there was quite a few up. We applied for three of them. They didn't give us a single one, so I fuck roadie today i really don't know why they wouldn't give us any of them there was five we applied for three we didn't get any of them so out of six fucking chances we got zero i mean not everything is guaranteed in this game but it, it really pissed us off i will say that we were we were pretty upset so but we are gonna go get this money right here um uh, it seems like it's really quick uh, the three customers have a 10 item, a 20 item, and a 10 item. And my wife has 30 items. So we should be relatively done at the same time. And uh, let's get that money, squad. Yeah! All right, guys, so just finished the shopping. It was 35 minutes. My wife finished hers before me. Uh, that's all good. She, hers was a shop only, so she got it up onto the shelf right as I was checking out. Uh, they had everything except for one rotisserie chicken. Uh, just to let you guys know, if you are in a customer or somebody who orders, they're never going to have the rotisserie chickens out till 9.30. Um, I'm not going to stand around waiting for an extra 30 minutes. Uh, I just went ahead and refunded it. I tried to call her three times. She didn't answer. All I wanted to do was just let her know, hey, there's no rotisserie chickens. Um, there's nothing I can really do about that. So we'll see you when we get to the first drop off. We do have three drop offs total. And uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Yeah! guys just got here uh, she was actually like less than two minutes away it's the apartment complex right behind my house again so we're gonna bring it on over to him or her him it's uh the name is Ray so I really don't know if it's a guy or a girl but it doesn't really matter it's a customer nonetheless so we'll see you when we finish Getting here for the uh, third order. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. Oh my god, I thought that 62 was up there. Now. All right, guys. So we just finished all three of these. Uh, my wife ended up picking up a uh, a single shop and deliver. It was $21. But then, as we were finishing up our delivery here on number three, they gave her an add-on, which was $17 for two customers. Uh, one customer's only got two fucking items. So I think the miles was 7.6. Yeah, it's a little bit farther than I'd like, but you know what? We're here early. We might as well keep going. And uh, there's really not that many people on the road right now. It's also not taking us through downtown. Yeah! So we'll go ahead and take all that. That's going to be an extra $37 into the bank on top of her 19 already. And then I do have my 63 i don't know if you guys can see it just yet or not but there it is right there 63 dollars so we're already sitting smooth at a hundred dollars sitting in the bank and we've been doing this for what an hour and a half so far uh, i think the first one we took came in at about 8 8 15 something like that and it's right now it's 9 9 30. So we've been doing it for about an hour, hour and a half, somewhere in there, and we'll be just over $100, I believe. So you gotta get out there and get that money squad. And keep in mind that Rody did 
fuck us this morning. We could have had an extra $60 on top of all of that, too. But Rody fucked us. So fuck Rody for the day. And uh, just get out there and get them groceries. Get that money squad. And see, guys, this, this is what I really, really don't like. I, I'm going to try and show you guys the tips. But A, A gave zero tips, guys. A gave zero tips. Customer B, she was a real nice lady. She gave $45 alone, guys. And then customer B, or customer C, excuse me. Yeah, she gave $557. So that even that is rather acceptable. I took it because it was $63 total. But customer A didn't give us any money, guys. Like, we, we live off of tips. And if you are some sort of shopper, even $5 is grateful. But if you're just going to do $0... You're really kind of an asshole. I'm just saying. Now, if I see his name again, it's Ray. You guys already know that I'm just going to refund all his items if it ever gets stacked on because fucking Instacart is the one who's doing it. It's not even Ray or Customer C. It's, it's Instacart, guys. It's Instacart that knows that they're going to be able to tack on a zero-tip customer onto a big-tip customer and just fuck that customer uh, like they just literally tell B oh too bad you're gonna get your food after A does even though he didn't tip because he's closer like no it should not be that way Instacart if there is a zero tip order from somebody you are the one who needs to compensate for that ten dollars eleven dollars all you got to do is give shoppers ten dollars ten dollars or eleven dollars I understand that the batch minimum is seven dollars and forty cents because you think forty cents is going to help on gas this is let's go brand in america gas is not cheap right now guys okay and that forty cents it doesn't do very much yes over time it will but no it, it doesn't that forty cents is not compensating for his zero dollars tip okay i'm just letting you guys know what the real thing is out here the more of us that stand up and complain to Instacart and say that if the customer has zero tip and that we should be compensated from them, the more likely they are to actually do something because I do see plenty of orders with zero tip, just not get their order. Like, Instacarters aren't dumb. We can see it. Get that money, squad. All right, so we just got back to the Publix. Uh, it was only seven minutes away from customer C, so we're going to go in there and get my wife's triple shopping done real quick and uh, keep it moving. All right, guys, so we just got hers done 29 minutes allow, uh, Twenty-nine minutes out of 43 allowed. So uh, if you want to check it out, this is all, all the items. And there you go. So we're going to get out there and get that money squad. All right, guys, so uh, we just left it uh, with Mr. Brian, and uh, customer B is the, in fact, Ocala Police Department. So, have no fear. I mean, we support the police. We back the blue 100%. Um, yeah, I mean, they're clearly out here to try and eat some food, and we're clearly out here to try and deliver some food. So, it's just a service that they want provided, and it's a service that we do provide. So, uh, get that money squad. Guys, so uh, we did just deliver it to Ocala Police Department. Always back to blue, guys. Uh, they are here to keep you safe, keep you protected. And at the same time, they also have to eat. They are still human, okay? They're not out here to fuck with you. That's not their job. Their job is to protect and serve. That's all, okay? So get out there and get that money squad, no matter who it's from.
right guys, so we just delivered uh, C to Miss Cynthia and uh, total was 39.40, so just under 40 bucks. And yes, customer A tipped 409, customer B tipped 730, and Miss Cynthia 13.67, bringing our total tips to 25.06. The batch pay itself was 14.34, and the fuel assistance, which is included in the 14.34, a dollar 20, guys. Like yeah, at some point, that dollar 20 for all three will amount to something, maybe. But I can't even buy an Arizona tea for what they just gave me, okay? So that, that fuel assistance, yes, they're trying to do something to help you on that side, but no, 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 no. If all they're gonna do is zero tip, that 40 cents ain't going very far. $4 is enough, okay? $7 is enough. 14, 1367, excuse me, is more than substantial for you guys, okay? Don't be out here trying to get these big ass 70, 80, 90 dollars. You're gonna wait forever for those. You're, and that's if one of them pops up. I happen to get lucky and get a 60 dollar one today. My wife is already sitting smooth at, give me just a second, dead air, sitting smooth at 58, 67 yeah. right now. I've only done one and I'm at 63, she's at 58. So which one do you wanna do, quantity or quality? Okay, yeah, we had to do a little bit more gas on hers, but her first one was a shop only. She didn't even have to leave the store, okay? So it's really in how much you guys want to hustle, how you want to hustle, and get that money squad. All right, guys, so I've got 63. She's got 58. That makes it $120. We started at 8 o'clock. It's now right at 10.59, 11 o'clock. That's 120 that makes it 40 bucks an hour, guys, and divided by two people, that's 20 bucks an hour. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's just how we go out there and do. Uh, we help our customers out as best we can. And uh, yeah, that's how we get our money squad. So, we'll see you uh, in the next couple runs. Uh, it is becoming lunchtime. It sort of slows down around lunchtime and picks back up around dinner time. So, we may pick some up, we may not, but we are on our way back to the house and uh, go cuddle with our fat, stinky doggies. All right, so we just got accepted for a roadie real quick. It's $42 for 14 miles. It says that it's a huge order. It always says that pretty much. It doesn't really recognize what huge is and what isn't huge. I, I just really don't know. But uh, we're gonna go pick that up from Home Depot and bring it on down to them. See you guys. 27 miles, they're going in two opposite directions, Instacart is just really just putting it in everybody's ass right now, that's just bullshit. Alright guys, so we got the door and there's the insulation down there, let's go ahead and bring it to them. Alright, so we got it loaded in the car, it's back there, door is open again, my wife is up front this time because I can just hold it. Uh, don't hit the gas too hard and it won't go flying out. Uh, it is about 17 minutes, 13 miles. Uh, we're going to get that money squad. Alright guys, so we just delivered it to Mr. Albert. And uh, my wife, she picked up another one, another roadie. It's 20 bucks for 8 miles. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. And then uh, head on over to that person. We'll see you then. Alright guys, just pulled back up to the Home Depot. Uh, looks like it's some vases vases and some uh, plant food so we're gonna get that real quick all right guys so we just loaded it in uh, they did only have one of the uh, vases vases so we're gonna let them know when we get there that you know they they only had one so we got to bring you what we got um, no big deal so uh, yeah she's about 15 minutes down the road 7.3 miles just get that money squad <laughs> So we pulled up. I let her know that there was only one Voss um, to call up Home Depot. She'll get a refund on the second one. And if she wants to order another one, she'll order another one. And we'll have another one for tomorrow or something like that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and unload everything that we do have and get that money, squad. Let's go. All 
All right, guys, so uh, one of my buddies, his name is Paul, he just decided to uh, give us a quick call and ask us if we were available to pick him up some Red Robins personally. Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely. Big Paul, big shout out to you. We definitely do appreciate you being able to help us and support us in every way that you do. Um, and if you guys enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Uh, and we're, we're just out here trying to give you guys quality content, some information on how to do the job, the gig works, things like that. And uh, always, get out there and get that money, squad. Yeah. All right, guys, so we uh, pulled up to the Red Robin, only waited about two minutes. The food was literally already ready. So I'm bringing it over to Paul, nice and hot for him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get that money, squad.